All right, everybody, I figured it out. I figured what's up with Katie Morton and Shane Dawson. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. So what I try to do, I try to take things from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, all of my loyal subscribers out there, you're like, where the heck is Chris? So I am at video summit in Los Angeles, California. Lunch was at 12. It's like a big YouTube event. I will be doing a recap when I get home. This is some of the best. I don't know. I just can't explain it. I haven't had a great experience like this in a long time. Um, but anyways, like, I'm like, okay, I got to go, you know, watch the Shane video. So I literally took my box lunch and came to my car, ate my lunch, <laughs> hooked up the Bluetooth, watched Shane on my thing, like, man, I hustle. That's just what I do. I hustle. You gotta hustle with your mental health too, all right? But anyways, I know a lot of you, um, you're, you've been enjoying my Shane Dawson recap, so I was like, I gotta do this. I gotta do this, all right? So a big, huge shout out to Zack Snyder Productions. He's been editing my stuff. I've been sending it to him, one of the coolest guys I've met on YouTube. I've been linking him down in the description. If you are into nerd culture, like comic books, superhero movies, video games and stuff, go check out his channel, but he's just one of the best dudes I've ever met. I love this guy, and I wish I could afford to pay him for all the editing I wish he could do on my channel. All right, anyways, anyways, I'm going to try to keep this short. There's so much to talk about. So I'm gonna do three videos. Zach, this is the first one you're watching, but you're gonna do three videos. So I took notes. Y'all know I love my notebook. So anyways, and I'm gonna be glancing over because this is not my normal setup, but I wanna talk about Katie Morton's role in this thing. So some of you have seen my videos about Katie Morton. So Katie Morton is a licensed marriage and family therapist, um, one of Shane's friends, and there's just been so much controversy going on. Like, I wanna, you know, start off this video by saying this. I think now that we're at episode six, like, there was so much controversy about sociopath and everything. Like, if you watch the videos I did with my mom, I, I truly think, and I think this solidified it today, that the whole sociopath thing is out the window. It's so out the window. And I didn't, I can't, it kind of bumps me out because the way Shane like makes so many episodes, like people couldn't see like the whole thing. Like if this was just like an hour and a half long like documentary, people by the end of it would have calmed down. You know what I mean? But because of the way that it's structured and released, like people had the opportunity, the time to freak out about the whole sociopath thing, the um, things that Katie Morton said about icky and gross, you know, and all that. But I think that whole thing is out the window. Shane is starting to realize you don't have to pathologize everything. Some people are just certain ways and all of that. So that's what I think, like as a mental health advocate, I, I don't think the sociopath thing, like I think I think, you know, one of my goals, let's put it this way, one of my goals is to increase awareness and decrease the stigma. Shane got to learn a lot about mental health and the mental health culture that we have today um, through this experience of making this documentary as well as through the experience of releasing the documentary. Like, he, he has had two big experiences and like, Shane is constantly learning and constantly growing, so I think this is really good for him. And for all of you out there, like sometimes the backlash you get, sometimes the criticism you get, it's only there to make you a stronger and better person. Like, I, I'm very careful about the way I act, the things I say, and a lot of it's because I screw up, right? There's no losses, there's only learning experiences, you know? So I think Shane has grown through this. So, Katie Morton, in this, like, she was exposed as a therapist to Erica. Now, I made a video about, like, is this ethical, right? Is this ethical? Now, I, I, I don't even know if I can give a final opinion on this. Maybe I need to talk to my mom again. But I don't know. It seemed, maybe Shane watched the video I did about it, but I don't think we're ever going to know. I don't think we're ever going to know. But in my opinion, like, where we see it now, Shane and Katie, Katie is basically Shane's mental health friend. Okay, like she's just a friend. Like there's a clip and towards the beginning where they're in the car and they're talking about after they went to Walmart and like. What are your thoughts? 
he's so nice. He really genuinely I cares so. about people. I think so too, right? And like Katie was just there like, and it was just a friend conversation. And now that I look back to that um, episode two with Katie Morton, I'm like, no wonder why she was so casual with her talking. Like you guys, I'll, I'll be straight up right now. I will be straight up with all of you. If any of you heard all of the conversations I've had, like those of you who watch my live stream, like you would know that I am not careful with my words. I say things that can be considered very offensive. Like, so I get that. I get, like, I understand it from Katie now. And I've made other videos about it. Like, you guys, I'm... I'll just say this, I've worked in mental health for some years now. My mom, like she mentioned, has been in in 20 years. Like, what you guys saw Katie Morton say is nowhere near what people say. Like, okay, okay here's a great example. Like, what do you think happens in the, the teacher break room? Like, remember when you were in elementary school and your teachers would go to the break room? Like, what do you think they were saying about you? Like, what do you think they were saying about the kids in your class? What do you think they were saying about you being a pain in the butt? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, it's just weird that we hold these people to such high standards. They're people too, you know? I have a lot of empathy, I, lot of, I have a lot of patience. Like, when I'm working with clients one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, I've had people come cuss me out, all sorts of stuff, and I can show them love and compassion like in their face, but that doesn't mean I don't go home to my girlfriend and say, yo, there's this kid in my treatment center right now and he is a pain in the butt. Like, sorry guys, welcome to the real world. We do this stuff. Like, I'm sure firefighters who save you from a bullet burning building, like they saved your life, they might be like, man, that dude I saved, man, he was like kicking like a weirdo. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I just hope everybody's calmed down at this point. But Katie, I can really relate to Katie because in my circle, like, I, I don't know. Like, in my circle, I've become this mental health guy, right? It's what I do. Like, you guys all come to my channel, you know, mental health and all of that, but like, my friends who have known me for years and they saw me, you know, get clean and sober. They saw me um, improving my mental health. They saw my life getting better. Like, I am that person now. Like, I'm the person that people turn to. So, I didn't see Katie so much as a therapist, as just a friend that could offer clarity to Shane. Um, and that's just my experience. Like, I... Like a lot of people come to me with that same stuff. They ask me questions. How should I how should I handle this? How should I word this? What do you think? You know what I mean? So she like I like I love that Katie. Let's see that's another thing. And like, I know you guys are gonna say like, oh, you're a Katie Stan. I don't care. Like when a, when a therapist goes above and beyond and tries to understand the brain science and stuff, I love that because I'm a huge neuroscience nerd. So when Katie was talking with uh, Erica after she exposed that she was a therapist and talked about the brain science of like how you gotta separate like your work from your, um, your, your like living space. And you know, like, like she mentioned, if you do a bunch of work in your bed, it's gonna be hard to sleep because your brain is associating that. Like I'm just, I'm a fan of anybody who is interested in brain science, all right? So if you like brain science, I love you, okay? But anyways, hold on, I'm looking at my notes. I don't know if Zach's gonna cut this out. Towards the end, the ending of this, this is where I do have some criticism of Shane and Katie, and again, my videos are for you. My videos are for you, okay? I don't know, it's just interesting because in episode two, Katie kind of like brought to Shane's attention that he's a fixer, right? That he's a fixer, he wants to help people, he wants to fix people, that's not a bad quality, but what can happen is, is you get into a position of unsolicited advice, which can make people really upset. What is this serious? What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't do that. Well, we're not, uh, the thing is, you're not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. But just to t turn the tables, if you feel like this is so personal to you, would you have wished someone would have told you or said something to you earlier? So, and this, this is something that might have happened behind the scenes that we don't know, but like, did Shane ask, did Shane ask like, yo Jake, like do you want me to help you get your life back on track or do you want me to help you, you know, just as like your YouTube mentor, do you want me to share my experience with you? Like, my mom taught me that very long time ago. Like, I used to be the huge, the biggest person, like, I, would throw around unsolicited advice all the time, all the time, and people would get pissed. They'd get so mad, like people get defensive. Like think about it, like do you have anybody where you're just giving them advice and they get mad? Yeah, like we do, it attacks our pride, it attacks our ego. So like, Katie, like, 
I don't know, and maybe she asked Shane this on the side, but like on camera, like if it was me, if it was me, like when my friends come to me like that, or even my clients come to me like that, the first question I ask is like, why do you feel that you need to fix this situation? Why do you feel that you need to be involved in this situation? Why do you feel that you need to give them this advice? Like we gotta ask ourselves that question. Like Shane is just now meeting Jake Paul He's filming a documentary, like what's he doing like coming in there like, you know, like Captain Save a Jake. You know what I mean? Like I hope I hope that makes sense. So I want you to kind of look at that in your life and saying, why am I going around trying to fix people, trying to give advice? Is it working? Is it not working? But I will end with a positive note. So I like that sandwich technique. You do positive, criticism, positive. For all of you employers and managers out there, know the sandwich technique. So I'm gonna end with a positive. Shane did a good job asking Katie like how do you think I should approach this and that's perfect So like if Shane's gonna do it anyways He might as well get somebody's advice on like how to do it the right way and Katie nailed it Okay, Katie nailed it. I remember somebody left a nasty comment on my video a few weeks ago And they're like, oh this guy this guy is like the vegan of addicts He's got to tell everybody that he's an addict in recovery. No, it's because what I learned is the way you, the best way to give people advice is to share your own experience. So Katie was telling Shane that the way he should approach Jake is by sharing his experience and saying, I can relate to that. Like if you're wondering why people go to 12 step programs, that's it. The best way to receive advice is by somebody sharing their own experience and you going, oh, Wow, well maybe if it worked for them, it can work for me. And Shane has a ton of experience. So anyways, that's my review slash reaction for this thing. Um, I, wanna, I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below. Oh, okay, two questions. Answer, answer one of both, okay, one or both, okay? Are you somebody who gives unsolicited advice? Like, is it a problem? Like, let me know in the comments. Or are you somebody who gets defensive when you get unsolicited advice? Like, I hope you guys read the comments because like, you can learn and grow from other people's experiences and that's what I really hope people can do with this channel all right but anyways that's all I got for you right now again thank you Zack Snyder from Zack Snyder Productions for editing my stuff while I'm out of town I just realized I'm shaking this camera a lot so I hope you fixed it somehow some way um, but anyways that's all I got if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new again make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell I am making a ton of videos about the Shane Dawson series but mental health in general um, um, this is the first of three videos I'm making about this episode. I'm going to talk about the situation with FaZe Banks. I'm also going to talk about the Team 10 house. So make sure that you subscribe. Notification bell's on. I'm recording in my car, so you could just do me that favor. All right, everybody. I love you, and I'll see you next time.